One of the more uh, interesting things that I've uh, found out in exploring the thinkings of David Benatar, the uh, antinatalist intellectual, is this notion that he uh, promotes that people systematically overvalue their own lives. What strikes me as interesting is he doesn't have any way of knowing whether or not someone is having a good or a bad life. You can look at someone um, in a very happy situation and they might be utterly miserable inside and a casual observer has no way of knowing that. You can also look at someone in a, what would seem to be a very miserable position um, and not grasp the fact that <clears throat> they're actually quite happy in the way that they exist. I made uh, my uh, earlier video in this series, Are Happy People Stupid? He seems to have fallen uh, completely into that trap. Uh, people who are happy um, usually are overvaluing their own lives. Now, uh, that's kind of insane when you think about it, because our own lives are all that we have to evaluate. I can't evaluate the quality of someone else's life. I don't know what's going on inside their head. I have no joy-o-meter or suffer-o-meter to figure out whether or not they're actually getting any uh, value out of their own existence. Mr. Benatar can't do that. I don't care how many uh, little uh, uh, initials he has at the end of his name. You, you can't read someone's mind. You can't actually find out whether or not another human being is happy or sad or stupid or smart or anything like that. Human consciousness simply doesn't work that way. Ask any uh, competent psychotherapist <clears throat> how much we know about other people's minds. We know virtually nothing. But he's actually taken it upon himself to say that he knows better than, uh, than other people how valued their own lives are, uh, that their, or how much worth their existence has. Uh, really weird, and and the, one of the interesting things about my position is uh, a lot of people take it as a species of solipsism, and the interesting thing of that uh, about that is is that Mr. Benatar is the ultimate solipsist. He's actually saying that he understands whether or not people's other people's lives have uh, value, regardless of what they think, and his opinion trumps theirs, even though they are the ones that are living that life. I think that I understand now why this fellow got some um, polite applause in academic circles and uh, faded and remained in obscurity. Um, I don't know, he strikes me as the um, Philip Rushton of uh, psychology? <laughs> Thank you.